Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Meher Baba Swan Drone Challenge which was announced in 2018 had concluded the three day conclave celebrating the golden jubilee of 1971 Indo-Pak war victory at Air Force Station Yelhanka on Sunday. The competition was named to honor the late Air Commodore Meher Singh and was conceptualized to evolve proprietary design, development, manufacturing and production of low cost, high impact solutions for swarm drone technology. Air Commodore Meher Singh was considered to be a legendary pilot and a flying prodigy. He was the first pilot to land in Srinagar, Pooch, Leh and Dalat Beg Oldi. In a relatively short career of 12 years, he rose to the rank of Air Commodore and was decorated with two wartime gallantry awards. Talking about the Swan Drone Challenge, the Indian Air Force has conducted an open competition in the lines of Make in India initiative. The nationwide competition for Swan Drones for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations was announced on 3rd October 2018. Nearly 154 teams registered and participated in this challenge supervised by the Committee of Experts and Domain Specialists from Air Force and Academia. 57 teams were shortlisted for the Phase 1. These teams were invited to present the solutions as per the competition conduct document which covered the requirements along with the details of the process of incubation, innovation and evaluation criteria etc. In phase 2, 20 teams were selected which was a flying and technical evaluation phase and was conducted at Chaselmeer in 2019. Out of these 5 best teams were selected for phase 3 again a flying technical and evaluation phase with enhancement in requirements in terms of drones in swarms, swarm software, hardware, distance and artificial intelligence. The Indian Air Force has announced three main winners. The award for the best swarm architecture went to New Space Research Technologies Private Limited, a startup based out of Bengaluru. Team Delhi Technological University, Flare Unmanned Systems Private Limited won the award for best communication architecture. Daksh Unmanned Systems Private Limited from Anna University Chennai bagged the prize for the best drone architecture. Team Veda Defense Systems Private Limited, a startup based out of Noida, was given the award for best innovation in design. The Indian Air Force also supported the R&D for the competition by giving development reimbursement of up to 25 lakhs and rupees 2.5 crore for phase 2 and phase 3 respectively. The finalists were also given an opportunity to give Indian Air Force the final product as its requirement towards performance production of Swan drone system. Last month, the Indian Army has awarded Bengaluru-based startup New Space Research and Technologies a $15 million contract to supply 100 Swan drone units. The Army has placed order for two swarms of 50 drones each. These drones can carry out a strike against targets at a distance of up to 25 kilometers. They can hit targets with 5 to 10 kilograms of explosives and can also be used to provide medical and other supplies to the troops in forward areas. The new space research and technology is also working with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL in developing combat air teaming system which is CATS. This is definitely the right segue of developing advanced technologies in less time with the help of private players. All our armed forces should introduce these kinds of competition with financial support which will encourage and boost our defense sector at a god's speed. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. 
please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.